Now, five schools here in East Baton Rouge Parish are getting several new teachers this week. That's nothing beyond the norm, except that these teachers are from the Philippines. Six of them are already here. Two more are on their way. And WFB's Tyler Williams tells us why our school system is hiring outside the United States, outside the country. That's right. As you can see from the map behind us, this is our little teaching room here. They came from the Philippines and they came all the way over here to the U.S. of A. right here to the Cap City. Now school board staff say there's been a shortage of teachers in math, science, and in special ed, and this is just one more way to make sure they're fully staffed. The three we talked with today say they're teaching at, they were teaching at schools in the Philippines, but now they're devoting the next three years to experience education right here in America. This way. These six soon-to-be new East Baton Rouge teachers are used to walking up and down the hallways of the school board office. Lesson plans, you can find information about the lesson plans and how to uh, design them. And listening to how things are done. Uh, I teach math and what brought me here, well, um, as a teacher, I think if I make it here, then I can consider myself as a good, as a great teacher. This group, along with two more who are on the way, will teach science, math, and special ed classes at the middle and high school level. Our students need exposure to other cultures, mm -hmm. uh, and that will help them be more successful later on. So this is a great advantage for our district. All of them were hired virtually over the Internet. I was able to teach biology and chemistry in high school. But I also have a license in elementary. 50 were interviewed through video conferencing and watched while they were in classrooms in the Philippines. But these made it to the states. Oh, we just got here last Saturday. While class isn't in session for them, there are a few other things they want to check out while they're in Louisiana. Well, when we got here, well, we, we were told, but we haven't uh, experienced it that the that, uh, uh, they have good food, seafood, so we'll, we, uh, we would love to try that one soon. School board office staffers say these new teachers meet the highly qualified guidelines, meaning they have to be extremely knowledgeable about the subjects they're teaching. They start teaching Monday morning at McKinley High, Bel Air High, Cedar Crest, Woodlawn, and Westdale Middle Schools. And Paul, if anybody wants to see that list of academically unacceptable schools in the state, they can log on to our website, WAFB.com. All right, Tana, thank you.